Hello students today we will be discussing about the developments that led to the bohr model of atom there are two major developments in this field one is dual nature of electromagnetic radiations and the second one is known as quantization of energy we will see it one by one first thing what is dual nature dual means two types two types of behavior are shown by electromagnetic radiations electromagnetic radiations are those which have two types of components one being the electrical component and the other one the magnetic component you find that in electromagnetic radiations they travel in the form of waves and these components are perpendicular to one another so you find that if this is the electrical component of the electromagnetic radiation the magnetic component will be perpendicular to the first layer and it will be synchronized with one another you find that both the electrical and magnetic components of radiation move with the speed of light this was proposed by the scientist named james clark maxwell in 1864 the solar radiations are electromagnetic radiations and so visible light is just a small part of the solar radiations evidently visible light also falls under electromagnetic radiations and you find that these electromagnetic radiations will have both the electrical property as well as the magnetic property earlier light was believed to have only particle nature and that was proposed by the scientist named newton in his corpuscular theory he stated that light travels in the form of particles each particle was called as corpuscles whereas later on the scientist named christian huygens explained light to travel in the form of waves and that explains the wave nature later on scientist named de broglie proposed the dual nature for light that is it possesses both the behavior of particles and waves this is one of the development which led to bohr model of atom we shall explain it briefly first of all take the case of light we know that light is composed of seven different colors and it is giving a spectrum of colors when we just pass white light obliquely through a glass prism this is known as dispersion of light which you have learned it in 10th standard so you find that when white light is made to fall on a glass prism we find that it splits into its component colors you find that the component colors are in the order vibgeor you find the violet is the color which is having the least wavelength and the highest wavelength is for red and you find that the visible light just forms a small part of electromagnetic radiations or electromagnetic spectrum that is coming out from the sun it includes gamma rays x rays ultraviolet visible light infrared microwaves radio waves 
you find that if the different rays are uh, arranged in the increasing order of wavelength or decreasing order of frequency we call it as a spectrum so spectrum means a regular array of radiations arranged in the increasing order of wavelength of decreasing order of frequency what you see now is the spectrum of white light